Hi everyone, Anthony here. You know, I love my job as an entomologist so much because there's so many different types of questions that we can answer just by studying insects and their relatives. And here in the lab where I work, one of the questions that we're really interested in is how does the insect brain lead to the different types of behaviors that insects do? And we actually study a lot of different animals here in the lab, not just insects. Here's one of the spiders that we work on here in the lab. Once the brain is out, we can actually use a bunch of really cool chemicals to make different parts of the brain light up. And we can use that information to see which parts of the brain have different chemicals in them and how those different parts of the brain are connected. And we can use that information to better understand how the brain can actually cause certain types of behaviors to happen. Here's a really cool picture of a jumping spider brain that I dissected a couple of weeks ago. There are lots of other really cool things that we can do with the brains as well. Hi Josh. Hey Anthony. Josh is using a really cool machine to actually listen to the electrical signals from brain cells in the leech. And over here is my lab mate Morgan. Hi Morgan. Hi Anthony. Morgan's busy analyzing some of the signals that were recorded several days ago. Each one of the spikes here is a signal from a nerve cell. And by understanding the pattern of signal, we can actually understand how certain behaviors happen in the brain. Those are just some of the cool things that we do here in our lab. But there are lots of other different types of entomology labs out there. Let's take a walk through my department and check in on some of the other entomologists doing really cool work here. Here we go. Hi, Robin. In this lab, they study insect diversity. They go out into all sorts of different habitats and collect whatever insects they can find there. And then they bring them back here in the lab and look at them under a microscope to identify which species they are. And sometimes they even find brand new species that no one else knew about before. This is the University of Minnesota insect collection. This is where we keep all of the insects that scientists have discovered while they're out in the field. Inside each of these cabinets are drawers and drawers of insect specimens. Now let's see what they're up to in the fruit fly lab. Hi Grace. Hi Cassie. Hi Anthony. What do you guys got there? We have a very diet that we're going to infest with fruit flies later. Ooh, why are you going to do that? Well, because these fruit flies infest ripening fruit and can cause a lot of crop loss. So we're trying to figure out how to get rid of them. Now let's see what they're doing in the urban entomology lab. Hey, Avery. Hey, Anthony. How are you going? Good. What are you doing today? Uh, today we're working with bed bugs, which is what our lab studies. And we are working on ways to use different pesticides and insecticides to control them. And primarily we're working with ways in which the pesticides don't kill them, but affect their behavior without, without lethal doses. Nice. So here we have a colony, and we keep these guys alive, and we feed them every week. What do you feed them? Well, we feed them human blood. Ooh! <laughs> it's, not, it's not mine, but we get it from the Red Cross and we feed them once every week and we keep the temperature and their food regulated so that we can do tests with as few variables as possible. Let's check in on the soybean entomology lab. The entomologists in this lab study the many different types of insects that attack soybean crops here in Minnesota. Hi, On. Hi. What do you got there? I have some brown marmorated stink bugs. Ooh. I can show you one right here. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> and what do they do? Um, well, this is an invasive insect pest mm -hmm. um, from Asia, and they attack various crops, um, mainly vegetables and fruits, and we are just trying to figure out ways to control them in the United States. Lots of cool things happen in the insect ecology lab. Let's take a look. Hey, 
Hey there. Hi there. How's it going? Great. What are you up to today? I'm looking at. I'm looking over the microscope. <laughs> uh, so I study parasitic wasps that eat caterpillars that are pests of cabbage and broccoli and all those vegetables. Nice. Uh, so what I was doing earlier in the week is going out into the gardens and mm -hmm. collecting little cocoons of the wasps. And here I am back at the lab, uh, looking at what's coming out of those cocoons. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, you can see that a whole bunch of little tiny wasps came out of this one cocoon. Mm -hmm. And what that means is actually a predator of that wasp uh, infected that cocoon, laid a bunch of eggs. So we actually have a predator of a wasp that's a predator of a caterpillar cool. uh, coming outside <laughs> of this particular uh, cocoon. One of the best parts about being an entomologist is when you get to go outside to see the insects in their natural habitats. Let's check in on Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Oh, hi, Emily. What are you up to today? I'm just looking for insects on this tree. Why? So there's a lot of insects that attack and kill trees, and our job as a forest entomologist is to look at trees and manage and do research on their pests. Nice. What kind of bugs feed on trees? Oh, there are a lot of different bark beetles. There's also a lot of uh, moths and butterflies that their caterpillars will chew on the needles, and there are beetles that will chew into the bark and can even get down into the roots. Ecology, behavior, neuroscience, pest control, biodiversity, these are just a few of the many different areas that entomologists investigate. And there are many other types of questions that entomologists can ask and answer as well. For example, medical entomologists who study the insects that transmit dangerous diseases, or forensic entomologists who help police solve crimes by studying the insects that are found on dead bodies. This, these are just a few examples. If you're interested in insects, studying entomology will open up a wealth of career options for you. That's all for now, but I'll see you next time.